Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. And as you're probably aware, I've done a lot of DIY instruments on this channel. A lot of them are string instruments like these cigar box guitars up here. A lot of them are electronic instruments like this drone box that I built a while back. More recently, I've started getting more into some wind instruments like this one. And I realized that despite the fact that I haven't played a lot of wind instruments and I don't consider myself necessarily a wind instrument player, there is five wind instruments that I've made from PVC, which are all very, very simple. You can make them in your garage and they all sound great. And so that's what today's video is going to be about. Okay, so I'm going to do these in chronological order today. And the first PVC instrument that I built is this one right here. This is a PVC didgeridoo. So um, it's literally just a piece of PVC and I heated it up and give it kind of the, the shape to make it look more like a branch. So you can see it's kind of, it's kind of got a couple of bends in it, but um, that's really not necessary. In fact, it's actually, you could literally just take a straight piece of PVC, the painting and all that doesn't add to the sound and you could basically make it sound just like this. And I do have a video detailing how I did that. I'll link that in the description for you along with the videos for all of these uh, things I'm gonna go over today. But with this, a didgeridoo is not an easy instrument to learn to play. I think it's a very difficult instrument to learn to play. But even so, I've actually used it in a couple of tracks. So there you go, number one, the PVC didgeridoo. The next instrument I made out of PVC is this one right here. It's a PVC kazoo. And again, I have a video showing you exactly how I did this, but basically it's just a scrap of PVC that I had and I drilled a hole right here. And then I put a reed across the end, as you can see there. This one happens to be a cigarette paper, but you could use wax paper, a number of different things. And then a rubber band around there to hold the reed in place. So really quick one that you can make, a PVC kazoo. The next PVC instrument that I built was this one right here, a membrane reed. And um, it's made from a T, a PVC T, and then a couple of short pieces of PVC, and then you drill some holes in it. Now with this one, I used a tutorial that I found online, and I can tell you I do not like this fingering pattern that they use um, because I feel like I feel like it's just really hard to get your fingers in such a way. Like if this hole wasn't there, it'd be really easy to do this. If this hole wasn't there, it'd be really easy to do this and cover all the holes. But trying to get that stretch with all those is well, it's, it, it's difficult. So anyway, so I don't love the fingering pattern, but it does sound amazing. It sounds more like a clarinet. Very easy to make, sounds great. PVC membrane read. Okay, and the next PVC instrument that I attempted was this PVC Native American flute. Now it's very, very simple. Once again, you just cut the block you drill a sound hole and then some fingering holes and that's basically it. It's very, very simple. It plays just like any other Nat Native American flute. And uh, actually Charlie Mazzucciella is the one who came up with the tutorial that I followed to make this. And again, I have a video that I will link. Um, but in his tutorial, he says, Everyone, no matter how advanced you are of a flute player, you should have one of these because this is great to throw in a backpack. If it gets wet, it doesn't get hurt. If you lose it, so what? Make another one. And the fifth instrument is right here. This is probably my favorite of all five, to tell you the honest truth. This is the most recent one that I've done. And this is an overtone flute, um, also called a concavka. Um, you can see if I hold it up this way, it just has a little channel that you blow through. And you notice there is this sort of uh, area that I had to kind of whittle out here, and then there's no holes in it. So the way that it works is it can play multiple different notes with no holes because it works based on the pressure of your breath. If you blow lightly, you get a lower note, and if as you blow harder, you get a higher note. And so once again, I have a video that I made about this one. If you wanna see exactly how I made it, watch that video, but I really do like this one. So there you have it folks, that was five instruments that you can make yourself from PVC in the garage or whatever. None of them are particularly difficult. They don't require a lot of crazy tools and stuff. What's, what's more important is they all actually sound pretty darn good. So there you have it. If you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.